hello everybody, this is Making Sank here, first name May King, and today we've got the incredible Suzanne, Emma and Marianne with us here today. Um, let's start with Suzanne first, let's tell the world who you are and what you do. Hello, I'm Suzanne Knabenikol from policesciencedoctor.com. I've got a website um, teaching the police how to police better using science and research that's been done in the area. And I'm also creating online courses for the policing community with subject matter experts. Wonderful. And we've got uh, Emma. Hi, so happy to be here. My name is Emma. I own Fresh Approach Digital and I am a holistic digital communications consultant and I help business owners and their teams learn how to use social media to get leads and sales. Wonderful. And not forgetting the fabulous Marianne. Hi, I'm Marianne. I am a social media manager and trainer. Now, today we heard from the wonderful Ian Anderson Gray talk about getting more confident on live video. I mean, wasn't he just incredible? He gave us so many takeaways uh, to learn from. And I'd like to uh, start with you, Suzanne. What was your biggest takeaway from Ian's uh, course today? So before you go live, what you should be doing is you should be relaxing your muscles, stretching out to the side, stretching up towards the sky making silly faces to really relax yourself and also practicing your voice going up in pitch and going down in pitch to make sure you don't sound boring. Absolutely and I love that because we don't want our listeners to sound boring do we? So uh, do you want to um, maybe uh, come up with one of the exercises? Do you remember any exercises that uh, Ian uh, talks about today? I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here. Yeah? Check, checking my um, underarm check. foliage but um, <laughs> I go this way, stretch up towards the ceiling. Yeah, okay. And down. And, and down. Big <laughs> face and small face and, and all of that. And that's as far I'm going as I'm going to take it. <laughs> Absolutely. That was a perfect rendition. Um, you are a very good uh, listener. And uh, Emma, what did you learn from the fabulous Ian today? Um, well, I had a personal question as well, which was about my hands, which I have been sitting on. Um, I am a big fan of the jazz hands. I do get very excited. So he did reassure me that it is OK to get as excited as I do about my things with my hands. And but the biggest one was really the camera. So um, to stare into the camera, try not to look at myself on the screen. So I've actually just put two little stickers on my webcam. So I'm now staring at the camera. I am looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that's a really important message that Ian said because when we look at ourselves it looks to the person who's viewing our account you know viewing our content that we don't care so um yeah having a post-it note uh, that's what I do where I put two arrows to <laughs> look there not here but look up there so um that is a great lesson to learn and Marianne what did you learn from Ian today? Well it's really interesting when it's about not being a perfectionist and not worrying about it so I think one of the things that he was talking about is it, he said it took him a month to do his first live so stop worrying about it just jump in and do it one of the things that i've been doing as well is watching other people do their lives because you can see that people are natural things do go wrong don't worry about it just keep talking and it all works itself out because everybody knows what it's like so just don't worry about it go for it Oh, I mean, absolutely. We all suffer from um, perfectionist uh, perfectionism and imposter syndrome, right? And we do. Um, I, I know I have uh, been a victim of comparisonitis, but Ian did mention that we shouldn't compare ourselves to someone else who's been doing it for years. So um, that was definitely one of the takeaways that I uh, learned from today. And um, actually, there was so much that I learned from Ian. Um, but when he talks about imposter syndrome, I actually learned somewhat uh, something from a psychologist who said to me that uh, we all don't have imposter syndrome but we have imposter moments learn from them reflect on them and move on and that absolutely changed everything uh, for me so the next time you look at somebody and you think oh my god you know look they're so amazing they're so perfect you've got to stop that uh, because your journey is quite different to someone else's and of course um the other thing that Ian talked about was about being human you know we all connect with each other and it's okay to make mistakes it's absolutely okay to make mistakes um and you know it gives me great comfort knowing that Ian you know took him a month to get you know to get live um 
um, but he has grown in confidence and he has taught us how to uh, grow in confidence and um, it was absolutely fascinating. But hey, listen girls, uh, thank you so much for sharing your uh, biggest takeaway. Let's walk, uh, go around the room and uh, let's tell the world uh, where people can find you if they want to know more about you. So let's start with Marianne. You can find me on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram and Facebook, Socially Maz. Socially Maz, fantastic. And Emma? Yes, I am Fresh Approach Digital. And again, every social media channel, I am Fresh Approach Digital. And I go live every Friday on, um, before this, on Instagram with Tea and Tips. So you can watch me and I'm just starting out. So Fresh Approach Digital. Fantastic. And Suzanne, where can we find you if we want to know more about you? You can find me on policesciencedoctor.com. Thank you very much, ladies. And uh, this has been Making Sang, uh, speaking on behalf of uh, the Linking Out Club, sponsored by Agora Pulse. See you next month.